Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Cyrus and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be reacting to uh, Patrice O'Neill uh, and I am a very very huge fan of Patrice. I think he was brilliant at his craft and he was very 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 good at it. He was funny and I know he grew up with Bill Burr, them two were very good pals. So. Today, I'm going to be reacting to Patrice O'Neill. I'm a bit racist, so without any delays, let's get to it. By the way, the clip name is called I'm a bit racist. It's not, I'm not saying I'm a racist, just to clarify. So, let's go. How many people getting sick oh. of the Hindu obstacle course at the airport? It's just, it, it's... I mean... I'm a racist, but it's, it's, it's getting, and I don't mind foreigners, but don't be from your, like, from your country. Like, you, it's okay to be originally from there, like your parents and grandparents, but you can't be from India and evil devil, from evil devil ID. You go, what the fuck? I'm American. I, I gotta be more American than you, cause I don't go evil devil, evil devil, evil ID boarding pass. Man, I know my voice proves I'm American. Like I need another, I need an American voice to ask me for my shit. But you can't get rid of the double day dudes, cause they're amazing. Like who else will work? at a 24-hour Brooklyn gas station with no bulletproof vest and no gun. <laughs> <laughs> and curse niggas out if they don't have less than a 50. I mean, people double. People double, people double. You need something smaller, please, and 50 double. Double. Double day. <laughs> You can't get rid of them because they do jobs nobody else is going to do. That's why you can't... Really, listen, what is this thing where we're trying to get Mexicans out of this country? Who else is going to work without Mexicans? And who else is going to work? <laughs> who else would drive a bicycle on the highway? Who else would ride a... <laughs> who else would ride a... Wait a minute. Who else would ride a bicycle on the highway against traffic to deliver you... <laughs> panini sandwich for lunch <laughs> on time who else who else is gonna uh, kick in your hotel door to make your bed besides some little Mexican woman who has an ethic she has to make your bed I have to I have I have to make hello and she knocks that she fucking punches the door <laughs> and she scares the shit out she kicks the fucking door and the chain is on hello Hello, and you're like, Miss, the chain is on. I'm alive. The chain's on the door. <laughs> you don't have, ma'am. Please, look, I, I please, I must make your bed. I must make your bed. I must make your <coughs> bed. Please, oh, please, <laughs> please. Oh, <laughs> we pull out a fucking IPOs meal shit. Please, please. I, and she's trying to squeeze in through the space, through the chain space. Like, I, hello? Hello? I must make you hello! <laughs> I wish I never traveled, for real, for real, because I, I, I would like to just never have traveled outside this country, and then I could hate America and be happy, you know what I'm saying? But I traveled, and now it's like, I, now I like America, but I still hate, it's weird, I hate it, but <laughs> it, it's, it, it's nowhere better because all I got to really deal with is racist crackers like that, and that's, that's it's funny, because like, I don't, black people really don't look at white people with like, you're the oppressor anymore. It's just something we do, it's just like we like not liking white people, and <laughs> white people like not liking us, it's like, it's just, that's just what we do, it's just, because <laughs> I'm not going nowhere, and I'll kill a motherfucker, he tell me to go like, back to Africa? Listen, I'm talking to black people. Stop that fucking horse shit, that go back to Africa shit. First of all, Africans 
don't like black people. That's first one. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like us. And what the fuck am I going to do in Africa? <laughs> Besides fighting some war, wearing uh, sweatpants and tuxedo shoes, <laughs> with a fucking <laughs> with a fucking machete in my hand, with a pair of fucking tuxedo shoes <laughs> and a knife, and, and fighting some goofy ass fucking war. Fuck it. So that was Patrice O'Neill. I'm a bit racist. And I've seen the clip before, I forgot to mention that before starting this. I have, I have seen quite a bit of Patrice O'Neill and I absolutely, absolutely love the guy. And he was, he was absolutely brilliant comedian. And unfortunately just like Norm, George, and they all passed away. And they, it's just heartbreaking to watch all of this and, but they done their job. They left a legacy behind for us to enjoy what they did, enjoy their craft, listen to jokes, like he's clearly, clearly making a joke and it is funny and if you're offended because uh, you are from Pakistan or India, don't, it's just a joke, don't get offended by it, anything, it's just comedy. As I mentioned many times before, if somebody make a Pakistani joke, I don't get offended by it, especially a comedian, it's just a joke, I don't care. You know what I mean? You need, we need to be able to take a joke and laugh at something that is funny, regardless of what it is about. You know what I mean? So, I really enjoyed this and I hope you did too. If you did, please like, subscribe and I share and I'll see you guys next time.